starting the day as well with the most chewiest marmite on toast I've ever had. I'm giving up today. I have asked to escape for a few hours. Um, well, most of the day, if I'm honest with you. I'm gonna skip two IVs and make sure I'm back for the antifungal IV at tea time. Um, I'm gonna go out in the sunshine, get some fresh air, pretend that I don't have CF and I'm trapped in hospital currently. And hopefully that will help me get through the next 12 days because this admission has dragged. We decided to come for a walk to get some fresh air because it's good for the soul, our souls. <laughs> Red food cheeks now. I have been home for a few hours, had a shower, going to dry and straighten my hair in a minute. Um, do you know what? I might even take my straighteners back with me, to be honest. I just don't like taking too much because I don't like there being loads to take home. Um, <clears throat> but I still have just shy of two weeks left, so I might as well dry and straighten my hair much nicer um, and I'm going to take some trainers with me. <sighs> Done a bit of tidying up here and there and disappointed that I have to go back. Bye. <laughs> I love you the most. Do it. Do it. Do it. Check for cuts. You don't know that they're there till you they hurt. Absolutely the worst bit about spending time with the guys is having to say goodbye again and the temptation to stay out was much. And I do, as an adult, have the opportunity to say I want to go home or do IVs at home, but it's not the right decision. I have the right to make that decision, but it's not the right decision. Um, and when I get sick quicker, they'll say it's because you didn't follow the advice you were given. <sighs> it's a hard balance to strike, but if I was only staying for my usual two weeks, I'd be going home on Friday or Saturday. So it would be the home stretch at this point, but now it's like a whole nother round. So that's shit. So it is the next day after my day out yesterday. I've only woken up in the last hour, so um, I haven't managed to vlog a waking up thing because because I woke up so late, everyone came in at one time, all doctors, physios, etc. So yeah, it was busy. Um, just had my lunch, <clears throat> chicken curry. I can't say it was inedible, it's just, if you can think of a smart price chicken curry in the microwave, that's what it was. Which is not the kind of food I eat at home. I eat fully fresh food. I buy fresh ingredients every day and everything I make is from scratch. So being in here, my diet is far different and the food I eat is not of nutritional value, which really grates on me because you're in hospital to recover. So the fact that we can't even get adequate nutrition really frustrates me. And then you have the dietitian saying things like, can't you get family to bring you food in? Well, every single day, twice a day? Are you kidding me? Do you know how expensive that would be? 
I live 40 minutes from the hospital, so that's fuel there and back, and then that's the food as itself. Plus, I have my child to feed whilst he's still at home. So how about as a hospital, you find a way to give your patients better nutrition? So I've been down for an ultrasound today for unrelated to CF stuff. And I saw my whole team, um, nurse, dietitian, consultant, etc. Because it's MDT day, like clinic and stuff. So we just make sure we're doing everything as we should be. So a couple of changes, but nothing dramatic. Um, I've also been responding to trolls on TikTok because they are rife in that place. Um, I do find it difficult, won't lie to you. There are some bits of hate that I literally laugh at and find hilarious. There are others that I think, how do you have it in you to even be like that? But <clears throat> I want a big platform and I have to deal with that sort of stuff. I shouldn't have to, but I do. And to raise awareness, I'm, I have to understand that not everyone understands this. But that is why I'm raising awareness, so that future of CS don't have to explain themselves. Uh, today has dragged a little bit and missing my loves as always but as of tomorrow 10 days left so just gotta push on not gonna lie to you i have also ordered some food i don't care what happens with the food once it's been eaten but i'm hungry i have eaten shite today it was not worth even giving me the food that i was given today it was just terrible so I treated myself midweek takeaway so I got myself some sushi and some noodles, so I'm gonna enjoy that because I am bloody hungry today. It's so nice. I've just eaten the, the temaki hand roll. Didn't video that, but that is amazing. It's just one massive piece of sushi with fried soft shell crab in it. <sighs> I needed that. This was good, good choice. Have I got my foodie red cheeks? Yes, I have. Will I throw that food up? Very likely. Do I regret it? No, no, I do not. That was so worth it. It's literally taken my breath away. And I, good decisions were made. Um, but to be fair, when you eat as little as I do, um, when I'm in here, you, you take any opportunity to, uh, Scoff. So yesterday and today, I've eaten good. My motivation behind ordering today was I actually lost weight in the last 24 hours, despite eating good yesterday. Um, and although I throw it up, they, because I do also then go to the toilet, it suggests stuff does get through. So <laughs> I still lost weight. So I thought, right, that's it. Let's try and get this, uh, let's try and add this six kilos on and order some food. So tomorrow I'm hoping I've gained that six kilos back. Fingers crossed. I got my wheels back. So one of the nurses the other night just took away my wheelie IV pole. Um, and I was really upset about it because I'm on this a lot um, because of my IVs being four times a day and also my clean prep takes a couple of hours to go through. So if I need the toilet, especially clean prep induced toilet needs is instant. I don't have time to unplug and run. Especially as with my IVs, I have to get a nurse because she needs to bring in an alcohol pad, etc. Yeah, so I'm glad I have my wheels back and I can just push this around and not have to worry about that. Bought myself today. <laughs> oh dear. Rump steak with peppercorn sauce for my dinner. To fit in with my no carbs because carbs make me feel like shit. I love carbs, don't get me wrong. And then cheese and broccoli soup. That will be the healthiest meal I've had in here, so we'll see how it goes. Steak was not tragic. It was just very well done. But not well done. It was well done. <laughs> um, <clears throat> soup was okay. Nothing to write home about. But <laughs> so I tried to have a healthy lunch. And ended up going to a shop and buying Kinder Bueno, Strawberry Tornadoes, and Milky Bar. So that didn't quite go to plan, but we move. I don't even know where I'm at with this vlog. It's lit. There's going to be so many different jump cuts of saying, no, stay two hours later, the week after. I, d I don't even know. I d 
I'm currently mid hypo, by the way. So I've started something called citagliptin, um, which is supposed to, it's like metformin, but it's teaching my body to use the insulin properly. And it's great. My sugar levels have been absolutely perfect. Um, I say perfect, better than they were. So I was going up to like 19 odd and then coming back down, but like sitting at six, which is fine. Weirdly enough, going high, but sitting at a really good level. <clears throat> and now with the sit and they were like, yeah, no, it'll stop you having reactive hypos. I had stopped having reactive hypos. I was going up, but coming down and sitting steady. And now I'm going up, coming down, having reactive hypos. And I'm like, it seemed to work better <laughs> when I was actually going high. So that I'm a bit confused about. They were like, oh, well, that's not how it works. I'm like, well, that's what it's done. I was, yes, going up to 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, but it's falling and then sitting at six, seven and just gliding on really nicely. And now I'm having a couple of high pose a day when I wasn't before. So I know, I, I know how diabetes works because my son has type one diabetes. But I also know that having hypo is more annoying for me because I feel the symptoms. I have to treat it and it actually can be dangerous. It can be an issue. Like I'm at 2.8 right now. I'll pop it there in real time. Um, but yeah, with my highs, they're not really an issue as such because I'm not at risk of DKA because I'm not staying at those heights so I don't really know how I feel about it at the moment my head is banging tonight, today it's four o'clock today this is going to be like the worst end to a vlog again ever and I'm not going to drag it out and do more tomorrow in hopes to pick it up because it's reality, this is what it is this is my life in here I tried to have an afternoon nap and I had, like, literally at the time I decided to nap, like, just as I dropped off, doctor, nurse, physio, ward hand over to the doctor so that there was loads of noise out there. It's like, why do you choose that time? But if I chose any earlier, the same thing would happen. But <clears throat> it is what it is. So, yeah. Happy Friday. I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. But I'm going to leave this video here because there is not much more I can add to it. It's a shitty day. I am just not prepared to make this exciting. But I will continue vlogging and we'll start again tomorrow. I just don't want to start again with the same video tomorrow. I'll start fresh. Uh, a week left as of tomorrow so we'll start from official week two and then we've got one week left have a lovely weekend bye